Nathan, a, a difficult day for all concerned, I think. Yeah, definitely. I mean, to go in front in the first half and then they get equal and then we come come again and, and go in front again. If, if, if that opportunity comes in games again, it, we should be definitely winning the game. And, and the way it ended, I mean, it was disappointing for everyone who was here. Uh, the lads are really disappointed with it, but there's only one thing to do now, and, and that's to, to set it right in the future. And the, you know, being two 0 up after half an hour, and you know they, they've not really tested you too much, and then you get a goal as well. You must think to yourself, well, this this is routine now. Yeah, of course. I mean, going two, two in front in the, in the first half. If you have anyone offered us that, we'd obviously obviously take it. But we know that anyone in this league, if you switch off, that they can they can get back on level terms uh, in a matter of a few minutes. I mean, first goal was unlucky to concede. We dusted ourselves off at half time. We were ready to go again, and then um, we all saw what happened after that. And, and to go back in front, like you said, I mean, it's it's actually disappointing to have that that chance to, to win it again. What will you go through with the manager and look at now? Because you you know you've had setbacks this season before. What is that process like of of analysing it and breaking it down? Yeah, we dust ourselves off. We we analyse it Monday morning. We, we, we pick parts from it, what we want to pick from it, and, and we go again. I mean, the only thing we can do now, we can't do anything about that. You can't get the goals back, you can't get the points back. It, it, it's go and get them in the next game, and that's the, the mindset we've had from the start of the season. And I think I think if we continue to do that, we're going we're gonna to end up in a, in a good position. So, like I say, Monday morning, come in, dust ourselves off, analyse what we need to analyse, and go again and, and, and full, speed, full speed ahead. Uh, on a personal level, yes, it's your first goal, but you know you're playing in the middle of that three after being shifted round a little bit from where you are. What's that like, and are you enjoying the leadership side of that? Yeah, I, I love I love being on the pitch. So if, if that's in the middle or, or on the side of a three or in the middle of a back two, whatever may that may be, I just love being on the pitch, helping the team do what it can do, and and defending first and foremost. That's that's one of the things that I love most about football is defending. So put me anywhere in the back, and and I, and I love it. I know there's lots of meticulous preparation. Andy Crosby himself being a former centre off. Have you picked up anything from him in all that preparation that that's, that's helped you? Yeah, of course. I mean, like I said, since I've been here, I've had a few uh, coaches and managers and, and you always pick the minds and, and pick different things from every one of them and, and you just add it to your game. It's it's one of the things you need to learn from, take things in and, and, and just make yourself as good as you can and, and help the team as much as possible. I think I might be right in saying you're one of, if not the longest serving player at the club now, which seems odd given your age, but at the same time, you've seen lots of different squads come and go. What's in this one that makes you think that even after setbacks like this, that there is a lot of character in the that can go on and push ahead and do better? I think last week summarised what we are as a squad. We're, we're together, we're, um, we're, we're work hard working, we, we know what we want to do and, and the strength and depth this year is, is second to none compared to other years that I've been here. That again, like I say, showed last week, two people come off the bench and impacted it the way they did. It, it was unbelievable and I think, I think we've got the, the right ingredients to to go far this year and, and hopefully we do so. And there seems to be a big togetherness as well, you know, it's not like the lads who aren't playing don't feel part of it as well, there's there's that idea that everybody feels like they're a member of the first team even if they're not playing every week. Yeah, definitely, that was the one of the big things when the gaffer came in, he said, he said we've all got to be pulling the same way for it, for it to end in the, in, in the right position. And, um, yeah, credit to all the lads, like I say, they've done it right in the, in the reserve games, they've come on and, and they've shown how sharp they are. Like I say, last week sum, summarised us as a squad perfectly, the, the lads who come on they were ready to go they weren't moping about because they hadn't started they were they were willing to do what they needed to do to get the, the points for the team and conversely though you mentioned last week does this week then act as a motivator to go on and do better and to maybe learn a few things that you didn't know about yourselves before absolutely you, you, you've got to take positives from from every game and and the, the character shown from the lads last week I think we were potentially unlucky this this, this week with, with certain things that uh, that went on in the game and I think it just it goes to show what the, the lads are like uh, going into the end of the game with, with to never die attitude and unfortunately we came out on the, the wrong side of the, the coin today and I think we just use it as, as something we can we can learn from and bottle it up and we don't ever want to feel this this feeling again.